we don't have a transom. Looking in our perspective view, and you can see there is no transom. So, I don't want to have these stations on for this just to give us an extra feel. Okay, so I'm going to highlight these three points where our transom would go on the back of the boat. Okay, so I'm going to go to face and I want a new face. And see how that curved the back of the boat there? That's not really what we want. We go to the shaded view looks like we really just screwed up our whole design here. So what we need to do is make these what they call corners. So let's, maybe I can select these in the plan view here. Select that point. Now if you look at our a little chart here, we're going to go to corner, select corner. See how that brought that down in the perspective view over here? Okay, so let's repeat that for this point and see in the perspective view how it highlighted that. Hit corner, drags that one down to the corner. Okay, go up here to this point. Might have to do it in the plan view. And we're going to select corner on that. So now we've got three corners but you can see it's still folded. It still doesn't look right. No, it's not much of a transom there. So what we need to do here, deselect what we have selected, and I want to select this gray line here. So if we go over to our body plan view, it's not letting me click it in the perspective view, we'll go to the body plan view, and I can see them both here. This is the transom and two. What we need to do is crease those edges. We need to let the software know that this is a this is a hard edge. So we'll go back up to the upper right hand corner here, switch selected edges between normal or creased edges. We want to crease that edge. Okay, see how it made that a thicker yellow line? Now let's go look in our perspective view and see what happened. Now you can see But it made those distinct lines. Okay? Makes sense so far? So now what we want to do, because we have this line here, looking at I'm looking at the body plan view now. This is that diagonal line on our transom. And deselect all, this is the line I wanna I wanna mess with. So I want to get this kind of squared off, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the tool toolbar and create a new control point by splitting the line in half. So what I want to do is make another point right here in the center. Then I can take that point and drag it up to my center line. So there's an icon on the toolbar up here, or you can go to Edge and Split. So now I've split that edge into two separate pieces. I can drag this. over to my center line, but you see the line is still curved here? I need to make that a corner point, and that takes away the curve. So my X coordinate is zero, because it's all the way in the back of the boat. My Y coordinate should be zero, which would be the, the width of the boat, right? We want it dead center, which would be zero. And now I can take my Z coordinate, and you see I can move that up a little bit. Okay. So that's our transom. We'll look at it in the, in the shaded view here, and we can see we've got a nice flat transom. It doesn't disrupt the side or the bottom. It doesn't create any issues. That's it with both sides showing. And so now we're starting to look like we got a boat, right? So I'm going to go back to the wireframe mode. Show the interior edges. I 
what I'm trying to do here is isolate the transom. And we're going to select that. See how it, when I click on the one on the left, it selects both of them as one. I'm going to go and I'm going to auto group this automatic grouping of layers. See how it assigns it to layer two? So now let's go mess with layer two. We'll go into the layer category, to the dialog, <coughs> click on layer two, we'll call that transom. It's already got the thickness set at quarter inch. It's already set on developable. Close that and let's go see what it looks like in our tools. Develop plates. And you can see down in the lower left hand corner we have the transom. So let's turn everything off except for the transom. <coughs> and there we go. 